454 sequencing. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? 454 sequencing was the first next generation DNA sequencer on the market. It is also known as pyro sequencing and it can sequence up to 1 billion bases in a single day. This is the equivalent of one third of the total human genome. It works by first breaking up a sample of double-stranded DNA into 400 to 600 base pair fragments at specific points using restriction enzymes. Adapters, or small pieces of DNA tape you can think of it as, are then attached to the DNA fragments. Then tiny resin beads that contain DNA complementary to the adapters or the DNA tape are added. The existing double-stranded DNA fragments then start to attach to these resin beads with the help of the adapters. And when this happens, the double-stranded DNA is broken up into single-stranded DNA. This is followed by a filtration where any unbound beads or beads that contain more than one type of DNA are removed. The remaining beads are emulsified or inserted in a water in oil microreactor together with PCR reagents. These complexes are then put into wells, one complex per well, then waves of only one of the four nucleotide bases are added and removed to the wells in turn. Whenever a base is synthesized to the existing DNA chain, it emits a light and its intensity corresponds to the amount of bases added. This makes it possible to sequence the sample of DNA since both the current type of nucleotide base added as well as the light's intensity is known. By going through the entire DNA in this way, we can successfully simultaneously sequence all of these small different DNA segments that are the result of using restriction enzymes to cut up the original DNA strand. The result of all of these simultaneous sequence processes are that we get all the information we need to know the sequence of this original DNA sequence as well. If you want to know some other ways to sequence DNA, I have left relevant videos that I've made now after this one. And remember to like the video if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.